Hey everyone, what is going on? So today we're doing what well, today we are doing what I said I'd do when I ran out of any added to a video. And um I know some some people will be watching this and some people suggested videos to me. Don't worry, they are in the works. Um uh Dark Destroyer's video, uh you probably are watching this. Uh your video is I have recorded some bits today, I'll record a bit more tomorrow, and that should definitely be up by possibly Thursday. Anyway, so today we're looking at part ninety four the figurine collection. Someone I'm a cyber leader. It just a side my words, quite clear the cyber leader. Uh, I'm really into these, if I'm honest. I've made a list of what is classic, so I've got a checklist really to know what I have. There's quite a bit of it, mainly Daleks. Uh, so I'm going to just try and complete the first one, the main figurine stuff. I'm going to concentrate more on monsters that aren't Cybermen or Daleks. Maybe, actually, probably might try and get the rest of Cybermen, because there's not actually quite met too many. But yeah, so Part 95 is going to be a, a Marshman. And uh, yeah, so I'll definitely be getting that. But this is Part 94, so it's still an empty Cybermen. So the box, uh, well, he's displayed in a window box, like all the others, with the star, star sort of watery background, which is very nice. We have a dark blue all around the box, uh, very navy-esque blue. Then we have certain logos, so we have the BBC Duck 2 logo there, DW, DW, BBC, Pan 94, Stadman, in commas, so when I'm saying Doctor, quite a nice picture, I believe that's season 26. And on the bottom we have all the legal stuff in the BBC logo. Uh, yeah, quite nice. The figure itself. Uh, obviously no articulation. We'll quickly go over the base as I always do. So there it says, Sad Man, Silver Nemesis, AHD1796. Don't know what that means. If anyone does know, please do say in the comments. DW logo, copyright 2012, and TMB, trademark BBC. We have same there, 2012, because I believe this is when these were planned. So the base is always going to be that. Uh, I'm not quite sure how they make these figures. Uh, possibly they uh, get make the sculpt figure and glue it down, or is the base made already i'm not quite sure be interesting to see if someone dismantled one but then again dismantle a new series one not a classic so the face sculpt uh it's very close to the sandman face sculpt of this uh it really just they had already released an earth shock so that's all they really needed to use i believe that's what they did use uh they're giving it sort of a different color to the rest of it which is kind of accurate i guess there are no actual gaps in the handlebars as you can see uh, so that would have been a bit too fiddly to do in this scale uh, yeah, it's really nicely painted, hardly any paint bleeds, unlike the uh, uh, Suicide Dalek, which I'm not very happy with, a manly version of that. Uh, very, very disappointing indeed. We have the lines, the face, we have a bit more detail, we have the sort of d thing that would be, would be multicoloured. We have uh, no screw on the back, unfortunately. We do have this thing here, which I don't remember them having, but possibly. On camera it actually looks kind of gold, which uh, it might actually be. But then again, you know, he wouldn't be alive, would he? No, uh, we got all this rest of silver. Uh, I'm not actually sure what that is. If anyone does, I don't think that was a thing on the silver Nemesis ones, but possibly. Uh, we have the rest of the chest units there. We have a little spring, a triangle there, a, maybe a button. And then down here with a bit of black on the uh, silver mesh, we have these things that look kind of a bit like, um, I don't know, like a bit like hair rolls mixed with a iron torpedo. Uh, not iron torpedo, sorry. Iron, um, ah. Oh. What's it called in Star Wars Battlefront? That one that makes the really cool noise. I can't remember, but it kind of looks a bit like that. And then we have the rest of the um, area here, a bit more of the mesh. Uh, I could just say my arm was broken when it was given to me, so that's probably through travel. So yeah, this has been glued, so this isn't 100% what it looks like. But yeah, we'll start with this arm. So the detail is really nice. Uh, we have all the rest. We have silver on this very navy-esque blue, which is just, you know, make, really bring out the detail. The hands are done very nicely. Uh, for once, my hand is all the way forward because it was glued on. Uh, glue back on. So for my this looks a bit different, which gives it more character, I'd say. Yeah, we've got the uh, very infamous lines around the arms and the legs that are on this one. I'm just sad, man. The feet don't really have much detail other than the, uh, the colouring, and there are lots of creases in the legs. Uh, so yeah, Eagle Moss are really uh, giving us a lot of classic. Uh, apart from Par 96, the rest are going to be classic until 101. Uh, that's because they have not announced 102. Uh, if you are an Eagle Moss fan, uh, you'll find this next part of the video quite interesting, because I'm going to pretty much go through what's coming out. Uh, so part 96 um, is going to be a new series thing, I believe from series 8. Uh, part 97 is going uh, to be, I think, either it's either, no, it's going to be the Destroyer from Battlefield. Uh, part 98 will be the Cyber Controller from Attack of the Cybermen, which will mean we'll have all the Cyber Controllers ever created, uh, which will be quite nice, because uh, the new series one was number 2, I believe, or number 10, one of those. Um, then part 99 is going to be the Dalek... Uh, Supreme from, I think it might be the Chase. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna get a Dalek, a uh, sixties one. Part one hundred is going to be Roger Delgado as the Master, and part one hundred one will be a Tetrap. There is also a special with 
uh, Azul, the thing from the demons, uh, which I will try and track down because the demons is a massive Pertwee one. As a thing at the moment, I'm trying to collect all the Pertwee figures, so I need to get the Sea Devil, uh, the Silurian, uh, I believe, uh, the, the Gold Dalek. I will try and get the Genesis one because it kind of is a bit of a Pertwee one. And I think that's it for the Pertwee ones. Oh, and there's Commander uh, Xavier, which I missed out on recently, uh, but I will definitely try and track him down. So yeah, so my final thoughts on this guy, he is a step up from that suicide dial that was abominable and that even broke on camera. He is a really nice figure, definitely worth trying to track down, especially if he's a season 25 fan. Yes, so Nemesis isn't the greatest story ever, but by God, did the Simon look good in it. And also, really, at the end of the day, so Nemesis, I know I see a lot of shit, but what more do you want from a Cyberman story? There's a lot of killing and fighting with Cybermen. For any child, that's all it needs. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button as it helps us so, so, so much. And subscribe for daily Doctor Who videos, stuff like this, reviewing action figures, talking. There's going to be a video, which was suggested, which is the one I was talking about earlier, on my on animations of Doctor Who. I'm going to do my top ten, uh, why I don't like Power of the Daleks, and also what I believe the future of it could be. That's going to be quite a big video, so it's going to take a while to record. Hopefully Thursday's video, as, yeah, Thursday will be the next time I'll have a lot of time, because I will have a lot of time Tuesday, but I need to do more recording. So, yeah. Also, thank you so much for all the support on the recent Complete History. Um, and there's something that crossed my mind. I could do new series Complete History, although that'll be a long time to run in because I had hardly any new series DVDs and it would mean to bang a lot of the stuff that I already have. So yeah, so that might be something I'd do in the future. If you want to be interested, do, do just say so I know more of if it'd be worth doing. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,